system as a as a computer of sorts. Do you see the universe in this way? No. Some people think, in fact, the whole universe is a computer of some sort. Yes. And they believe that perhaps everything, therefore, is a simulation. Yes. I don't think so. I don't think that there is a super video game where we are nothing but puppets dancing on the screen and somebody hit the play button and here we are talking about simulations. Yeah. No. Even Newtonian mechanics says that the weather, the simple weather, is so complicated with trillions upon trillions of atoms that it cannot be simulated in a finite amount of time. In other words, the smallest object which can describe the weather and simulate the weather is the weather itself. The smallest object that can simulate a human is the human itself. And if you add quantum mechanics, it becomes almost impossible to simulate it with a conventional computer. Because quantum mechanics deals with all possible universes, parallel universes, a multiverse of universes. And so the calculation just spirals out of control. Mm. Now, there, at so far, there's only one way where you might be able to argue that the universe is a simulation. And this is still being debated by quantum physicists. It turns out that if you throw the encyclopedia into a black hole, the information is not lost. Eventually, it winds up on the surface of the black hole. Now, the surface of the black hole is finite. In fact, you can calculate the maximum amount of information you can store in a black hole. It's a finite number. It's a calculable number, believe it or not. Now, if the universe were made out of black holes, which is the maximum universe you can conceive of, each universe, each black hole has a finite amount of information. Therefore, ergo, da -da, ergo, the total amount of information in a universe is finite. This is mind boggling. This I consider mind boggling, that all possible universes are countable and all possible universes can be summarized in a number, a number you can write on a sheet of paper, all possible universes, and it's a finite number. Now, it's huge. It's, it's a number beyond human imagination. It's a number based on what is called a Planck length. But it's a number. <laughs> and so if a computer could ever simulate that number, then it would the universe would be a simulation. So theoretically, because, it's, uh, because the amount of information is finite, there well, there necessarily must be able to exist a computer. It's just from an engineering perspective, may be impossible to build. <laughs> yes, so. no, no computer can build a universe capable of simulating the entire universe, except the universe itself. So that's your intuition I, I, that our universe is very efficient. And so there's no shortcuts. Right, two, two reasons why I believe the universe is not a simulation. First, it, the calculational numbers are just incredible, no finite, the uh, Turing machine can simulate the universe. And second, why would any super intelligent being simulate humans? I mean, if you think about it, most humans are kind of stupid. I mean, we do all sorts of crazy, stupid things, right? Mm -hmm. And we call it art. We call it humor. We call it human civilization. So why should an advanced civilization go through all that effort just to simulate uh, Saturday Night Live? 